Welcome to Eclipse 2024. My name is Kevin Melvin. Next to me, that's Janelle Roberts. We are part of the on-air staff at WHOU 100.1 FM, and we are happy to be hosting in Holton, Maine, the Eclipse festivities, and I hope you're all having a great time. I hope you're enjoying Holton, Maine. If you're not from here, welcome in. We are glad to have you. So far, we're loving it. It's been cool to get here early this morning and kind of see people start to funnel in, kind of see the buzz start to grow. We're from Seattle, Washington. Uh, we came all the way to Holton, one, because the weather looked like it was going to be the best, and two, because uh, we've got some family in the area, and it was a, an easy place for us to stay. It has been amazing. Uh, there's a lot of people home that used to live here, visiting with family and friends. There's media folks, NASA's here, and everyone that I've talked to is in a great mood. They're having a wonderful time. My partner and I wanted to come to the East Coast. He'd never been to the East Coast. So we flew into New York City and then rented a camper van and drove up to Holton to be in totality. We're from Linnaeus, which is only five or six miles south from here, little town. We just come in, check out town, then we're gonna go home, watch the eclipse with the dogs and relax. I think, you know, for us, we, um, there's teachings behind the eclipse, and it's really about rebirth and renewal and, and just shedding that negative energy and uh, moving forward in a good way. So for us, this is a great time to celebrate. My name is Eric Smith. Uh, I'm the James Webb Space Telescope Program Scientist and the Associate Director for Research in the Astrophysics Division at NASA Headquarters. Astronomy has been a field that's benefited throughout its history from the great interest that people have, and there's a lot of amateur astronomers, a lot of amateur solar astronomers here today with their telescopes. It's actually amazing to see them all, but in addition to that, there are projects that NASA has where you can participate in helping us determine the shape of the sun, to help us determine how nature reacts as the shadow comes across, and even how the Earth responds, the temperature changes that we witness during a total solar eclipse. I'm super excited to see it. This, is, this will be my first totality, and uh, I'm delighted I can see it here in Holton Maine and if, if you ever wanted to be called the sunshine state for one day today's the day and so Maine is the sunshine state for today. It's something that people are going to be um, experiencing all over um, and I guess it's it's not easy to feel united with everything across the states today. And this is something that it doesn't matter where you come from or who you are. Like we all get to experience this together and it's really special. The thing about the eclipse is that you have to know a little bit about space to understand how rare it's going, how rare it is. Um, and understanding that we are, as human beings, overlapping with a timeline in which the eclipse can happen. So, yeah, that's, that's what it is for me. Yeah, there's only a few million years left where eclipses like this can happen, mm -hmm. so it is pretty incredible that we're alive during a time when we can see all this kind of stuff. I think it is just one of these things, like, because it's so eerie, the way the, the color of the sky changes, the darkness in the middle of the day, the temperature dropping, you really feel this thing. And it is something sort of, you know, I guess, out of this world or cosmic in, in nature. I mean, it's a, a special alignment, but it's also everything that goes with that. It's not something that we experience in everyday life. And again, you have to be in the right place at the right time to see them. Most people are lucky if they get to see one or two total solar eclipses during their lifetime, unless they're willing to travel and that's why they're so special. this really eerie feeling leading up to it and I didn't want it to feel eerie but that's really how it felt yeah. and it was really phenomenal we're so glad we did it yeah. um, 
we won't be around in 2076 or 77, so. Yeah. <laughs> It was the, one of the most incredible things I ever seen in my life. Then when it was like total, it was like, whoa. And like just seeing how everything was like changing around, around us, it was like, whoa, like it was really, really cool. It was the best thing I ever seen in my life.